So for the caregiver, um, are there uh, technology solutions being developed to help out with this issue? Yeah. Um, about six years ago, a group of us in the industry um, really wanted to put together a curated set of resources that would be available online to caregivers because one of the challenges is you never know when that job is going to start. Um, for me personally, it was last summer. My mom uh, contacted me and said that the doctor told her she had to have both legs amputated at the knee because of vein problems, which I thought sounded wrong and it turned out to be. And I had spent years with some of the best thinkers in this business putting together this curated set of resources. FamilyCaregiverCouncil.com if you want to look it up and it's got all kinds of great information and links to technology and services and so forth. I had the moment of, oh my gosh, now what do I do? And um, so then I remembered that I was part of this group and I should probably go to the website. Um, <laughs> but two, two things I want to highlight. Um, one, a company called CareLinks, because I live in Cincinnati, my mom lives in Boca Raton, Florida. She doesn't have any other family down there. What CareLinks does is has a network of fully vetted, screened professional caregivers, hundreds of thousands that are independent, but they have a five-star rating system, much like you would see with Uber and so forth, uh, full background checks, fully vetted and screened appropriately. Um, so I contacted them, told them what the issues were, how many days a week my mom would need service, um, and they helped me put together a resume that was posted online, and within three hours I had 11 applicants. And beyond that, something that people don't recognize is that when you are arranging for those services, you also have to pay for those services, do the appropriate withholdings and so forth. They have a secure portal so that what you see is the net cost to you. So if it's $22 an hour, the benefit is there's not an agency sitting in the middle of that, so those workers are actually earning more so they can get a higher quality worker. They also will help you interview, because I said, look, I've never interviewed caregivers in my life. Um, so they'll help you interview them, set up <clears throat> all the screening questions. It was a phenomenal service. Beyond that, um, as I mentioned earlier, great call and the lively mobile assistive device. Uh, got that for my mom, and it was excellent. Turns out she did not have to have her legs amputated, thank God. Um, but beyond that, there is a lot of other resourcing out there. Um, everybody talks about Uber, I think, just because it comes top of mind quicker. Um, actually, Lyft has been doing a tremendous amount of research and engagement into the senior space over the last three or four years. Um, and I think they are really starting to look at that door-through-door -door service concept. So to Kate's point earlier, it's not enough for the person to show up at your front door and wait for you to come out. If people need assistance, both at the front end of the ride, the back end of the ride, and in the middle, uh, Lyft is working very hard to figure that out and make it affordable.